Ever find yourself on GitHub at 3 a.m., stumbling across wild open source projects? That was me, and I found some fascinating WhatsApp OSINT tools. We all use WhatsApp, trusting its end-to-end -end encryption, but what about the metadata, backups, and digital breadcrumbs we leave behind? These tools don't break encryption, they analyze the data trails we create. Today, I'll show you five tools that reveal what's really stored, tracked, and exposed by your WhatsApp usage. Some are forensics, some track public data, and one is a cautionary tale. This isn't about hacking, it's about understanding your digital footprint. Let's dive into the world of WhatsApp OSINT tools I found on GitHub. First up is WAPA, WhatsApp Parser and Analyzer. WAPA digs into decrypted WhatsApp backup files, like msgstore.db, and reconstructs your entire chat history. It recovers messages, timestamps, sender info, media, and even some deleted messages. But it's not just a data dump. It generates stats and visualizations, who you talk to most, your busiest hours, and more. Investigators use it to build timelines and connections, but for regular users, it's a wake-up call about how much is stored in a single backup. Imagine searching years of chats, links, and photos in seconds. WAPA makes your digital life searchable. It can even geolocate media with EXIF data. The key lesson, encryption protects messages in transit, but once backed up, your data is only as secure as your storage. If someone gets your decrypted backup, your entire history is exposed. WAPA isn't a hacking tool, it just shows what's already there. Securing your backups is as important as trusting WhatsApp's encryption. Try WAPA on your own data, it's eye-opening. You'll see just how detailed your digital footprint really is. It's a powerful reminder, your backup is a snapshot of your social life. Don't ignore where and how you store it. Forensics or curiosity, WAPA is the perfect starting point. Your data footprint is bigger than you think. Next, let's talk about Pi WhatsApp, a tool for your computer, not your phone. Many of us use WhatsApp web or the desktop app, but did you know these create their own data artifacts? Pi WhatsApp scans your computer for cached chat logs, contacts, and media left behind by the desktop app. It doesn't need your phone, just your PC's local files. The tool interprets log files, revealing when the app was used, what networks it connected to, and snippets of activity. It's a digital forensic analysis of your desktop's WhatsApp footprint. If your computer is compromised, someone could reconstruct your chat history without touching your phone. Using WhatsApp on multiple devices means your data is scattered. Each device is a potential risk. Even logging out of WhatsApp web might leave traces behind. Pi WhatsApp shows just how much is stored locally, making your digital footprint tangible. Run it on your own machine, you'll be surprised what's there. It's a reminder, secure all your devices, not just your phone. WAPA covers your mobile archive, Pi WhatsApp covers your desktop artifacts. Together, they reveal the full WhatsApp data ecosystem. Every convenience comes with a trade-off. Be mindful of where you access WhatsApp and what's left behind. Your data trail is wider than you think. Digital hygiene matters everywhere. Now let's look at WhatsApp OSINT, a tool that tracks public metadata, not your chats. It uses browser automation to monitor when a phone number is online or offline on WhatsApp web. By logging every status change, it builds a detailed timeline of someone's activity patterns, when they wake up, go to bed, or use their phone. It can also track profile photo and about status changes, adding more context. This is pure OSINT, connecting public dots to build a behavioral profile. The privacy implications are huge. Anyone with your number can, in theory, track your online habits. You can hide your last scene, but not your online status. Imagine someone correlating two people's online times to see if they're chatting. It's a reminder, public metadata can be just as revealing as private messages. The tool blurs the line between observation and surveillance. The best defense? Set your last scene, profile photo, and about to my contacts only. It won't hide everything, but it limits what strangers can see. This tool shows why privacy settings matter. Don't ignore them, use them. Your online status is more public than you think. Stay aware of what you're broadcasting. Next up is Spear Recon Ultimate, a broader OSINT framework that connects your WhatsApp data to the rest of your online life. It starts with a phone number, email, or username, then scours the web for linked profiles, social media, forums, and more. For WhatsApp, 
it can check if a number is registered, pull the public profile photo, and run a reverse image search to find matches on other platforms. Suddenly, a WhatsApp number can reveal your full name, job, and social profiles just by correlating public data. This is data enrichment, turning one data point into a full digital identity. Using the same photo or username across platforms makes it easy for tools like this to connect the dots. It's a powerful reminder to compartmentalize your digital life. Different photos, usernames, and emails for different services. Spear Recon shows how easily your online personas can be linked. No data exists in a vacuum. Everything is a potential threat. Start with WhatsApp metadata. End up with your entire online footprint. The lesson, be intentional about what you share and where. Avoid cross-pollinating personal and professional identities. Automated tools are faster and smarter than any human at finding connections. Protect your privacy by diversifying your digital presence. One small detail can unravel your whole story. Finally, a warning. WhatsApp Shark. Unlike the other tools, this one is malicious, flagged as a phishing tool. It creates fake login pages or QR codes to steal credentials, preying on curiosity or malice. The danger is twofold. Victims lose their accounts, and would-be hackers often get infected with malware themselves. Downloading shady scripts can give attackers access to your computer, not just someone else's WhatsApp. If a tool promises to hack WhatsApp encryption, it's a scam. Don't fall for it. Always check a project's reputation before downloading anything. Look for stars, forks, and community feedback on GitHub. Security researchers have flagged WhatsApp Shark as malware. Not all open source code is safe. Be skeptical. The first four tools are about awareness and forensics. This one is about crossing the line into crime. Don't risk your own security for a shortcut. Stay vigilant and prioritize your digital safety. If it sounds too good or too evil to be true, it probably is. The real lesson, curiosity is good, but caution is better. Learn from these tools, but don't get burned. Your security comes first. That's a whirlwind tour of WhatsApp OSINT tools on GitHub. From forensic analyzers to public metadata trackers and a crucial warning about phishing tools. The takeaway isn't that WhatsApp is broken. It's that your digital footprint is bigger than you think. Security is holistic. Protect your devices, backups, and privacy settings. The more you know, the better you can protect yourself. Stay informed, not paranoid. If you found this useful, like and subscribe, and let me know what you want to see next. Catch you in the next rabbit hole.